All right, I'm back. That ash-eating wizard is always on me about it. I am his mycologist. He may have grown Tel Mithrin by himself, but I nurture it. Mushrooms and fungi are my life's work. When I saw Tel Mithrin, I knew I had to be here. I've learned so much since then. Me? No. That's Master Neloth's doing. I wasn't even born then. It's Telvani magic at its best. He brought the cuttings with him from Morrowind and used sorcery to grow them. Yes, that was a lifetime ago. I was just a young girl when Red Mountain erupted. Master Neloth was already old. My mother put me on a boat to Skyrim. The last time I ever saw her, she was standing on the dock as my ship sailed away. That fetcher told me to fix his house. If I don't, he'll find a new mycologist who will. Decades of loyal service, and he'd just throw me out like yesterday's breakfast. Three taproots soaked in the headwaters of the Harstrad River. I'm an old woman. I can't possibly make that trip. It's way too dangerous. If you get some taproots, I'll pay you to dip them in the headwaters and bring them to me. Where do you think? You have to cut it out of a spriggan. Although sometimes you can buy them from alchemists. Where do you think? Although sometimes you can buy them from alchemists. No, no, but it's think. special to the spriggans. They seem to like to gather there. Something about the waters attracts them. There are bound to be some there. So be careful. Azora, light your steps. The teleport here. I don't have any right. I just use her thing. Spring and sap. Tell Verona to bring apples and cabbage from Raven Rock. Oh, yeah, there's like seals right behind here. This leads where? Tell me to rain. I guess this is well. Steward House. Oh, we have oranges over here. Should be some still starter somewhere here. This one down. Nice luck there.
Uh, just climb it. I think I have many quests, I remember that. As if Talmidran is cursed. Spoiled food. Ash spawn attacks. My servants constantly getting sick. What's next? You again. Didn't I see you in Ravenrock? This is a Talvani tower. It's my citadel. Grown from the spores of the giant fungus trees found in Morrowind. Back in the homeland, there are other Talvani wizards that have them as well. The Telvani are the master wizards of Morrowind. The greatest of us grow magical towers like this one from the mighty fungus trees. Together we form House Telvani, one of the great houses of Morrowind. The great houses rule what is left of our once proud nation. I am likely the greatest wizard you will ever meet. Who else do you think could create a staff enchanter? If you make yourself useful around here, I might just let you use it. <laughs> Have you seen Verona? I'm... Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. What? Make my own tea? I am a master wizard of the house Telvani. Other people make tea for me. Finally, someone who recognizes my importance around here. They are off working on their pillar. Happens every night. Make them stop. Oh no, certainly not. At least not yet. Not until I've figured out what is going on. Imagine the power of being able to command entire villages to do your bidding. Imagine what I could do with that power. Of course. I don't know, but I mean to find out. I still have some research to do before I'll know anything for certain. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I can. The question is, should I? I suppose if it's going to be done right, I'll have to do it. <laughs> you are too young to remember the Nerevari. He defeated Dagoth Ur and saved us all from the blight. I suppose I could dig up a staff or two for you. Or gem and whatnot. All right. I'll keep that. Hmm, I might have a few staffs if you're interested in that sort of thing. Where did I put? Oh, have 
you found Verona yet? I could really use some tea. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> My stomach is kind of growling. Oh, it's someone something. You've got to help me. I conjured an ash goblin and now it's running amok. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry. I'll keep <laughs> Mr. Neloff distracted. Really going after me. Something else. Not here. Oh, they're all dwarven ruin. Yeah, that place is a mess, I remember that. I'm not damnable, Ash. Is it tea time already? Well, Neloth's just going to have to wait. Verona went to Raven Rock to arrange for supplies. Mephala Cloak. Personally trained her from a lot. It's like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let her go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. 
Well, they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk Striders are pretty rare now. What would you like to know? The blast from the volcano wiped most of the man. Found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silk Strider cocoons are pretty tough. Mostly for transporting goods and people. They were pretty commonplace in Morrowind, but that was ages ago. A Silk Strider carapace is so strong, it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Vardenfell's Molagama region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. All right. All right, then. What's up, buddy? Let's go. Okay, what happened to the lady? Oh my. Don't get your foot killed. Why there are so many of them? Pay for this. Okay. I've got a lot of stone. Kagrumas resonant gem. What the heck is that? He will need a new sword, huh? That was the sound. I've been looking for you. Now, finally, got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf around Ravenrock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
Okay, let's see. We'll do this. Why well, doing pretty good? Oh, it's you. This isn't good. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the drawer. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead, and I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. This is what I get for skimping on labor. Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. It might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. Alright, but first... Talk to that guy that is. Steward is dead. Freaking Ash. Yet, I could really use some tea. Dead? Well, that's annoying. How did she die? And there are more and more of those things showing up around here lately. Oh, I suppose you'll have to find me a new steward. Try Raven Rock, they are in awe of me there. Right. I'm sure almost anyone would be willing to serve. Excellent question. Once word gets out, there will be a lot of people to choose from. Someone with a brilliant mind and a robust physique that is blindly obedient would be ideal. Oh, and they need to know how to brew tea. Ooms always waters it down. Uh, don't take too long finding Have you destroyed the Ash Guardian yet? Master Milroth will kill me or worse if he finds out. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I don't have any gold to pay you with, but I can give you a staff. <laughs> no, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. I didn't have one with me when I cast it. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. I'd better get going. When you find my new steward, have him report to me. I'm running low on heartstones. If you have any with you, I'll buy one. Otherwise, I can tell you where you might find one. Excellent. I'll take it. Here, have some septums. Now, where did... From Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I All right, new steward. Go get him, somebody. <laughs> Rickling. Touch your weirdos. Can I help you? Yes. 
this guy. I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mines. You I'm perfectly content with my current position. I'm pleased I was mistaken You've about brought you. brought Ravenrock back from the brief. I could never leave Adril behind, and he will never leave Leryl. Besides, I'd never work for Nello. I heard I he cut the heart out of his former apprentice. <laughs> Good journey, traveler. Now that... Splendid. Another man. Okay, we s there. We've got nothing to do. You. Don't be put off by my husband's mood. We enjoy... Me? I hardly think so. That Telvanni wizard is unhinged. I heard he tries to drink the ash. Be careful out there. Understandable, considering the mines are you. If you're looking to purchase, my father needs me. He can't run his market stand alone. Besides, Nelov is loony, a skooma addict. He wanted my father to import a white mammoth alive. You could try Drovers Relvi. He came in here asking my father if he needed any odd jobs done. Seemed kind of desperate. You need to talk some sense into your husband. Keep yourself safe. Solstheim is still a dangerous place. It is. It's busier now that things are starting to. That isn't up. my problem. I was clear when I loaned Garwin the money that I wanted it back. By With the Aspon threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done. Friend. We. All that the guy working here. Yeah. We have all sorts of authentic. No, uh, you mean leave Ravenrock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvanni wizard? Sure. Just let me get me things. On second thought, never mind. I can get new stuff. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. <laughs> that was fast. Drovus man? I suppose he'll do. He makes dreadful Canis root tea, though. But I should be grateful. Here, take this for your efforts. Oh, and you may use my staff enchanter if you want. Curse these heart stones! The man makes a dreadful cup of fruit tea. However, he seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment, a sign of gratitude? Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. I've been having difficulties with my heart stone experiments. Have you heard of the Briar Heart? They are fierce warriors of the Forsworn tribes. They actually remove their own hearts and replace them with large briar seeds. It puts their life sparks in direct connection to the natural forces. I need you to examine one of them. Just investigate as much as you can. I'm going to put this memory trace spell on you so you won't have to worry about taking notes. I doubt you could know what was important anyway. Forsworn live in the hills on the western edge of Skyrim. From there you're on your own. I'm given to understand that they are not difficult to find, if you gather my inference. Well, I'm hoping to do something similar. If I could connect a living being to the forces of the Red Mountain, well, that would be formidable. I've done some experiments in this area, but, well, my test subjects are far too fragile. 
I'm hoping to learn some of the Briarheart techniques, their methods. I would venture out myself, but long voyages are dangerous and risks are precisely what people like you <laughs> That's that step. All right, buddy. Oh, did you need something? All right, then. Ooh, you get one of the black books. What are these sounds? Okay, we'll I'll read the black book next time and we'll go back to Skyrim to find some bear hearts. See you then, goodbye.